start rotating in, but they have access to the bomb site here on Godsend, and that smoke is so annoying. And Joel is going to get the crunch all the way in through this donut area, but smoke is what's really the big kicker in this round. Big Academy have been completely isolated by it. The retake attempts or even the thought of it seems to be gone with the wind. With this one smoke in mind, but the Flash has given them a second win. The Draken won't allow very much further. It's Sky all alone in the 1v3, and he's stuck behind a box. About as worse as it can get for a spot like this. And of course, Draken will put it down with ease. He, alongside Joel, show what they're made of in the first. They aren't staying static. They're moving back into mid, giving this chance to Draken with the shoulder spotted. He's going to at least pick up one, trying to push him down, though. This M4 can't layer in the kill, and we're back to a two on two. This massive advantage, Big Academy, had fielded in the early stages of the round, seemingly now gone, disappeared, but still the HP is felt. Joel's on two. Draken still got a little more to do if they want to close this one down. You've got to walk through Sensei. Well, maybe he's not fit the bill for Big Academy so far in this team. That's not going to be a shot he misses. Looking for the double around the box. He plays it perfectly. And which wall, but realistically speaking, you don't want to give away your flank just yet. But look at the utility he's got. If he's able to clear out B-Ramp, if he's able to clear out the site for Sensei, then they can pretty much just keep them posted out for the rest of the round. But Draken's taking a defensive position inside of this move, trying to put the fight to Sensei and make him catch the stray this time around. But the offer does not fumble, and it's all up to Rusty. The man usually opened up upon it feels in recent memory. Well, now he's got to pull a clutch out of the hat. Peeking back in, though, Sky will let nothing of the sort happen. A full house between he and the offer. We slept. An Asian, but Process isn't blinded up by any of the flashbangs on the incoming. Now they come lining up, but he's only walking away with one. A lot more successful than has been in previous times, but now you've got Sensei to still chip away at, and they give him so many fights, so many 1v1s, and none of them does he miss on. Even letting ready to close this one out in flawless fashion, it's all up to Draken, wondering how again has my team disappeared from me so quickly? Well, that's how. It's by the name of a man named Sensei. Ten on the board. Try to exploit it off the hat, but is he spotted them? I think maybe he has, and now he is given the opportunity for a kill. Gonna soon be wrapped, so instead of sticking around to try to pick off extra pieces, just holds on to the advantage as he backs away in a CT spawn. And all this info is now in the hands of Godsent to try and attempt this retake. Still with a P250 to go through, though. You talk about two of the three S's. Well, this is the third's chance. Looking to do something with the raid boss stop player, but the only thing he can find is damage now. He starts to level and kills. And now the feed starts to fill a little bit more with the smoke expiring in CT spawn. The P250 keeps jiggling in around the site pillars. And now it is his time to step up and almost with an ace. When a scout's insta headshotting you on like a hairline angle. So one that they'll want to forget about, that's for sure. But this is not a round that we'll have too much to talk about. Only Glocks, unless somehow they come away with anything more than one kill, which is not looking likely. Nice little into the sites already. They say, you know what? Give them control. They take a favor, us and Joel wants to at least find one, but Arrow won't let him inch closer on one HP. He gets another, and there's still a gap in the smoke to try and abuse ZTR. The exploiter, and he comes away to even it out once more, knowing now both players are back in CT spawn. Arrow wants to group up with his teammate. He's got a Molly to potentially go on the bomb, but maybe you want to use that flash to help process a little bit. Crossing into the site, too. He's going to have to make a questionable move through his smoke. He'll go or no. It's just spam. I'd argue aimless at that point, too, as a smoke's gonna go atop of the bomb, giving away one of the player positions with the trajectory of the Molotov. Arrow's Ooh. thinking this, or I'm sorry, ZTR is. He just knows that they're not gonna line up the spam. Godsend, it's not the cleanest way to win a round, but it's something of his own before he can even think about getting the assistance. And from the back of the site, he'll pick off the head of Arrow. And we fall back to even footing once more as he continues to dance around the back site pillar here. Being isolated by utility maybe puts a bit of a precedent on him. Pressure is instilled, but apparently he does not care. And the bomb's gonna go down for free. Sky still sitting behind the smoke, maybe trying to phase it and see if he can't take away the opera himself. It'd be a big task to accomplish, but he's gonna have to accomplish it all himself. In the 1v3, he's gotten a double flicking around! Oh, every kill! Let them have tons in mid. And in response, you see what it's costing Godsend. It's pulling them thin. It's dragging these rotations out so desperately in Sky on 1 HP. He's just double entried in Donut. W key up, boys. The site is ours. Draken, he's still yet to be cleared, but I think Sin's given them all the info necessary of understanding where this next CT is. Rusty moving back in from spawn. The Ops missed its shot, but only one kill. So somebody else is going to have to be the one to step up. And Draken's the closest in response to do it, even in the relative area code, it seems. But... Now as he falls, it seems like the game is done unless Plopsy's got a 1v4, but the first man in front of him is Sky on low HP, but the flank isn't even something I anticipated. Big, what an up- You've got an uncomfortable player to worry about, ZTR, and while this isn't the most uncommon of spots, I certainly thought maybe it would have worked for a few seconds, but no. 
as soon as you thought God sent me have had the right idea going forward, they just get dismantled. That one HP put back in the response for the defense and the counterpart. This one, it's over already. They just don't know it yet. And the two on four, Rusty and Plopsky. Gonna try to be heroes for Godsent as they move back in from Connector, but now with Bull CT's presence very well known of for Big Academy, they can just set up for the inevitable push to come through. Sin again shows up on the P250 and again in the pistol. Big Academy. Looks like they may get ready to contend here as the op of Draken. You saw him turn tail a little bit towards B, but it's the perfect time to exploit it as you saw. They were looking to rotate off. They were going for an A stack Draken. He's now got to put up some massive numbers in spawn. And one isn't what he was looking for. Rusty still holds on to control of the bomb as he burns to the Molotov. Down to 19, he falls. He eventually has to see control back over to Big Academy. And walk through his smoke and make a little more risky of a play. Sensei, he'll take a stray for it, but he won't actually fall. So, advantage held on to with Plopsky still holding on to B. And Joel is probably not in a position you're going to expect all that much. Even again, walking through his smoke. It may not be with the Doctor Order, but with 20 seconds, what can you really hope to go by? Oh. Well, oh my god, <laughs> Sin! Maybe you need that. Maybe that's what you were looking for. Jumping across the con angle and just one tapping Joel. Well, we've highlighted his previous performances. Thought out doing so. Joel in the off angle is better for the exchange, but still it doesn't support him. Draken's falling inside hall. Joel, how long do you want to stay here? Well, longer than expected is I don't know if he actually caught wind that Arrow was under him, but eventually the trade's gonna come through and tenfold in the favor of Big Academy, but they do have Rusty on this quick flank. And eventually you're going to expect this. This is kind of the whole key point of Vertigo, these quick flanks, these potential backstabs. But I don't know if you'll expect it this early, and it seems like Rusty slipped the cone of vision for Sin, who hard clears it instead, but still doesn't come away with the kill. 1v3, Rusty trying to take a note out of Sky's book, but it doesn't seem like he knows somebody's over in the, in the sandbags. And Stuck in nine. Now, this is a very risky play. They've been spammed through a lot of smokes in the past. That's are underhanding that one as well Wait, through look at, it. Look at process. He's already up through side hall. He's already got this flank on the A site, and they might not know of it. Oh, thankfully for them, Joel cut checks it. But, I mean, that could have been huge for them. And still, another player has slipped in. Now, they definitely don't know about Sin. Problem is, he has no teammates. So, even if they don't expect him, one is about as much as he should get. Rusty also taking one to the head, and Joel... It's not just Raw Angels. This could be huge. Is this going to be a generator, Molly, from ZTR? Um, Confused as to what the lineup is here. Yeah, it looks like it is. I'm a fan of this. And this is exactly where Sensei's playing. Having to swing into the open could be huge. All ZTR does is have to find this pick, and it's all up to Sin now. He was a late man to arrive over on Ancient, but he's been a star presence on Vertigo, and it looks like it may chirp in too for a 10th round, only needing the second on low HP, but even that seems over questionable. Draken, the kill is... ...and off rotates away from Elevator, and so they'll try and go in for this mid control. They should be uncontested and going for this. Only one player they have to deal with initially in Sin. But they've taken Stairs control back, and even though there is a flank being established on the counterpart, I thought certainly Big would have had the right idea for the situation, but apparently not. Pistol's here, better for God set, unless Sensei and Arrow are able to pull back the impossible. This would be two on five converted, and it looks like they're throwing their hats back in the ring knowing where the remaining T's are towards the danger wall. And then, I mean, I guess maybe Triple may go a bit unguarded, but this Flash is going to blind up Plopsky. He's not going to have a fighting chance or so. I would have thought the Flash doesn't actually land, but the kill does. And it's all up to ZTR on 1 HP being the difference. Oh. I thought it worked with, but you won't need it if the Deagles do that. Both of them now spotted around oh. the yellow tarp. The AK doesn't find any kills, just damage, but they're stuck in. There's nowhere to leave. There is no exit route as the health bars continue to dwindle lower and lower. They fall. Sky is causing more and more of a commotion for Godsent that can't seem to be overwhelmed. It's all up to Rusty. And so many different places to look. If you peek above in the sky, you've got another person to worry about inside Hall. Big Academy. They've done the impossible. And with three Deagles being the ones finding the kills, they take 12. And he won't fall for it, but it'll at least delay them for the time being. Though he gets the trade back through the graders. And now maybe they can try to overwhelm Arrow at B. Nate is placed perfectly, though. So Flopsky, the front runner, is instantly dispatched up before he can fight back. And now it's just pistols, V rifles, and a tale told as old as time goes the way you'd expect, unless they got a couple of wall bangs to come through, in which even that feels far fetched. Arrow. But they're not buying it. Pros is still will burn to the Molotov a little bit. A smoke comes in from sight, though. And now you've got a question is that a fake or not? I don't know if they actually heard the Molotov get ticked. Oh, yeah, they definitely did. So. Process will be put to rest, but I think he's caught in wind of every single player now being here. You heard the scope, you heard two nades, so you can pretty much establish the rest of the reinforcements at A. 
but do they reroute? Well, it doesn't look likely with 48 seconds. Joel's jiggling in to try to give them an out route back into the game and into the round. Finds two, but does he know about a third being here? You've still got Arrow tucked in the corner. Nobody clears him, and he'll put this one out of arm's reach. 16 guaranteed because of this man. Jim